Hello friends, welcome to Mathers. Now, today we are going to start a brand new series on real analysis. And today's concept is open sets, the concepts of open sets. And most importantly, today we are not going to discuss any kind of theorems. So let's start. Okay. Let's start with the idea of open set or the concepts of open set. First of all, let us revise what is the definition of a set. Set is obviously well-defined collection of distinct objects. Since you people are learning analysis, so I believe that you all have concepts of sets. Uh, but if you don't, then obviously you can take a screenshot of this page and you guys can uh, understand, read this example. I think it will be clear for all of you. Now for subset, you all guys know what is subset, but still, like the say, definition of set, if you have any doubt, you can just go through this one. Uh, I want to just uh, explain this diagram. This diagram shows a tank and filled with water, and if all the water is drained, then it's full empty, then we shall get a trivial subset of the first tank. Uh, if a part of that water is drained, then it is the proper subset of what it was before. And if no water is spilled, then it will remain as it is, as it was. So it will be an improper subset. It will remain as it is. Okay. So now let's come to the main concept. Let us go one step closer to the concept of open sets. Right now. Now let's discuss us. The, now let's discuss about the interior point. So, what is an interior point? First of all, imagine that this is the real line from minus infinity to plus infinity, and this much is the set A, and small a is a point inside A. Small a is inside A. Now let us consider a neighborhood of a. First of all, what is neighborhood of a? I am writing x neighborhood of a. It means it is the set of those y's such that a minus x is less than y less than a plus x. It means a is equally stretched x distance in both direction. So, if this is a and this in between distance is x then it is a plus x and it is a minus x so neighborhood of a is the collection of all the points in between okay i hope you guys understand all the points here all rational irrational every numbers are inside this neighborhood so what it is said if a neighborhood if a suitable neighborhood not all the neighborhoods if any neighborhood any possible neighborhood of a is absolutely contained in a it means neighborhood of a of x is a proper subset of a if this thing happens then we shall call that a is interior point of capital A set okay and in this way the set of all such interior points of this set A will be called interior A and denoted by int A okay I hope you guys understand this so again the concept is there is a bigger set and then we have a element of that set or, or a point of that set and then we take a suitable neighborhood of that point and then we check whether that neighborhood is absolutely or exactly contained inside this A or not. Okay, this is what we have to check. So, as, as in the same way in this diagram you can see that this man is has stretched its, its arm, you can think this man as the point A and these arms are X, both side X. So, this man this man if this man is a then this point is a plus x and this point is a minus x and look at this man the man is in the interior of this white white box so he is an interior point of that white box because he is there inside the white box okay similarly like think this box as set a similar way okay now 
what is an open set i have told you the concept of interior i have told you the concept of interior points now the set which has all the points as interior points then we shall call the set as an open set or in other words we can say if interior a is equal to a the set itself then the set a is an open set right some examples first of all the open interval is obviously uh, a very good example of an open set and why it is an open set just imagine take any point anywhere in the open interval and you just try to f draw a neighborhood you obviously will be able to keep that interval inside a b open interval itself how it is so let me explain it now here why uh, a comma b open interval a comma b open interval why this one is an uh, open set okay we have to prove this one now we need to show that any point any point of this a comma b open interval is uh, an interior point like let me take this x belongs to a comma b open interval okay now i need to find an epsilon neighborhood of x we denote that in this way which means those elements y such that x minus epsilon less than y less than x plus epsilon right how to choose this one how to choose this epsilon how to choose it see this x this x thing or this x is this thing holds right obviously this thing holds now if I choose x minus a, x minus a and this b minus x and then I am saying minimum of this one and then I am taking again and half also. Then I am saying this one is epsilon. So see what is happening here actually. If sorry if this is my a comma b open interval where a and b is not included and let this one be x so i am taking minimum distance between this distance this is obviously x minus a distance and i am taking b minus x so minimum of these two distance is this one and again i am taking half of that so then i am getting this much distance on both side and i am showing that this is it completely depends on the choice of epsilon so i have got one neighborhood of x which is entirely contained inside a b so it means for any element and it is x was an arbitrary element for so for any element x we see that x belongs to a and and x is or we can say x belongs to interior of a comma b right so it means that any element any x of this a comma b open interval is an interior point it means that interior this set interior of a comma b it is actually a comma b set itself that's why a b is an open set now we have to remember one thing open interval is always an infinite set and also any open set any open set except the null set is always in finite set even r itself is an open set now here are some examples which are not actually open set first of all set of all natural numbers is not an open set because to find open set we should first of all find about the interior point now do n has any interior point nope why because take any leave the matter of n just take any infinite subset of n the set of all even numbers and let us call by a and choose any point let it be 8 now as it is shown in this diagram here we have taken 8 now take any neighborhood of this 8 as i am circling my cursor here you guys can see in 
this smaller part there will not only be natural numbers or even natural numbers there will be lots of lots of rational and irrational numbers so obviously you guys can understand that any neighborhood of i is not absolutely contained in the set a therefore this 8 is not an interior point in the same way uh, 8 is not an uh, any natural number is not interior point of the set n therefore since n has no interior point therefore it cannot be open set now again to if you want to see this uh, very much clearly why set of all natural numbers is not an open set uh, like this is 0 this is 1 2 3 dot 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 and it goes on so if we take this 2 and if we want to find a suitable neighborhood which contains which is all or which is contained inside this set of all natural numbers to find that like this is 2 so you guys can say since it is said that uh, a suitable neighborhood should be taken so we can take epsilon as 1 we can take that so in that case the neighborhood will be or we can take a little bit more than epsilon can be 1.2 in that way it will take 1 here and it will take 3 here because it will be extended from 0.8 to 3.2 okay then you guys will say that it will contain 1 and 3 and so it is contained in n who told that because after 1 here is 3 by 2 is that contained in n after 2 it is there is 5 by 2 is that contained in n obviously not i am just talked about two very familiar rational numbers here are infinite numbers of fractions or rational numbers though n is also rational but still there are also so many infinite number of irrational numbers also and that doesn't belong to n so this neighborhood of 2 is not entirely belonged to n that's why it is not an open set why because 2 is not an interior point so any point of n is not an interior point therefore n is an open n is not an open set obviously okay and for the same reason z is also not also an open set Obviously, Q will not be again open set because any neighborhood of Q will not only contain the rational numbers, but it will also contain the irrational numbers. So, the neighborhood of Q is not entirely contained in the set of all rational numbers. Okay. End of this concept for the concept of uh, open sets. So, in the next video, we shall discuss about the concepts of closed sets concepts of closer interior and boundary in the next video then theorem on closed and open sets and so on okay those will come as it will go on and obviously i shall upload videos on real analysis on monday wednesday and friday okay thanks everyone for watching the video Please like the video, share it among your friends and obviously do subscribe my channel. This gives me a lot of encouragement to do some more exciting stuff and trust me, if you people please if you people can kind of support me then I will be able to make math much easier and I shall make videos of entire BSc honor syllabus and that will be helpful for each and every student though I will do it in slow motion but I will be slow but really really steady okay so thank you everyone thank you for watching please do math and love math obviously most importantly okay and for problem solving, first of all, I shall complete all the theorems and theories and then I shall start solving problems. In this way, for each chapter of analysis, I shall take at least five to seven videos. I think so. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Have a great night.